Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here. And today, I wanted to actually talk about this new update for God of War. They came out with New Game Plus, and I think that anyone who has played this game, and if you love this game, which a lot of people do, this is a perfect time to come back to it. Do New Game Plus. It's completely worth revisiting the game just to do the New Game Plus and get a lot of the new stuff because it's actually really awesome with all this new stuff that you can get and a lot of the older stuff that you can reacquire will be a lot more powerful on New Game Plus. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The first thing I want to show off is my stats. And I have finished the New Game Plus playthrough now. So this is my build. These are my stats. And they are ridiculously high, which is just crazy. The only stat that I wish, and I've been trying to figure out ways of getting it up there. I can do it, but I have to sacrifice and mid-max and all this. And in the end, I don't really think it's really worth it. And that is Vitality. I want to get 200 Vitality because there's a lot of different skills that if you have 200 Vitality, you can get a bonus. But the bonus is always the same. It increases resistance to interruptions during the attack. It would be nice to have that because there's so many bonuses with that effect. But at the end of the day, I don't really have a problem with being interrupted during most of my attacks. So I don't really care about it all that much and i don't think it's necessary but one of the nice things about having higher stats is that you can get so many of these extra bonuses to actually boost certain attacks which is just epic like adding a frost explosion damage on impact it's just so easy to do that because you can easily get to those higher stats with the new game plus armor now let's go ahead and talk about some of the new stuff that you can get. The first thing I want to talk about is the Armor of Zeus. This is a really cool armor setup for sure, especially if you like playing as a glass cannon. Now, the unfortunate thing about this armor is that to acquire the full set, you have to beat all of the Valkyries. So that's pretty close to the end game. What's cool though, and I really like this about the new game plus in this game, is that you can always do another new game plus. You don't have to just do one and you're done. I always hated that with like The Witcher. The Witcher did that. And that was really annoying that you can only do one new game plus. You couldn't just keep doing new game plus over and over again. I always wanted that and they didn't give me that. And I was really mad about that. But in this game, you can do as many new game pluses as you want. The game will not get harder and you cannot actually get any of the special items again. So once you have the special items, you have them, that's it. And that's unfortunate. I wish you could get some more of the awesome enhancements because the enhancements are insane. I'm going to be talking about them a lot because I think that the enhancements are definitely the best part of New Game Plus. But you cannot get those again if you do do another New Game Plus. So keep that in mind. But the main thing here is that this armor is pretty cool. I personally wouldn't probably use it just because I don't really want to play as a glass cannon. But I know a lot of people like that, and this is definitely an armor for you if you like to play as a glass cannon. The next armor I want to talk about is the armor of Ares. You can craft this armor. I'm pretty sure you can craft it from the beginning of the game. So that's kind of cool, I guess. But what this does is that it will massively increase the amount of rage that you gain. But it does have some negative points to it. It will reduce the size of your rage bar, and it will increase the drain rate of Spartan Rage. So... That's kind of a bummer, I guess. I'm really not a big fan of Rage. Maybe you could make a Rage build. That's something you could do with this armor. And I'm sure it could be kind of fun. But at the same time, I just don't really like Spartan Rage. So this is an armor I never really thought seemed like it was a good choice. Now this next armor set, you can craft this as well from the very beginning of New Game Plus. This is the Cog of War armor. And each piece, they do different things, but they're all kind of related. It's all about using health stones and rage stones. What the chess piece does is that whenever you use health or rage stone, you will create a massive explosion that will inflict frost and burn damage to all nearby enemies. I'm not sure I haven't tested it on how powerful that explosion is, but out of all the pieces, I thought that the chess piece was probably the worst one because the gauntlets and the boots actually are really useful now the boots i haven't actually made these either but i can see the potential of these being really good because whenever you use a health stone or a rage stone you will get a protective barrier preventing damage from enemy attacks 
I don't know how long that lasts, but I would think that it probably lasts for at least a couple seconds, maybe three seconds. And that seems pretty useful because a lot of times when I go to pick up a health stone, especially a health stone because I'm weak, I'll get hit and then I'll just die, especially in like a Valkyrie fight. Where with this, you can pick it up and then if you get hit, you're not going to take any damage. So I can see this being potentially really good. Now, the piece that I would definitely recommend making and actually using is the gauntlets. The gauntlets are actually very useful because what it does, whenever you have full health, if you pick up a health stone, it will give you rage instead. This is extremely useful because you can use your rage whenever you feel like you want to, and then you can easily refill your rage meter by just simply equipping these gauntlets and then going around and picking up every health stone that's on the battlefield afterwards, especially after like a Valkyrie fight or any type of boss fight. They normally give you a lot of health stones, and if you use your rage during the boss fight, you can then go ahead and put these on and get your rage back immediately. And once you actually have your rage maxed out, if you see like a rage stone, but you don't have your health maxed out, you can put these on, pick that up, and get your health filled up. So these are extremely useful. I definitely recommend making these and using these if you're going to do New Game Plus because they are really awesome. Now the next thing I want to quickly show off, and you can make this from the very beginning of the New Game Plus playthrough, and that is an armor for your son. This armor is awesome because it gives you every effect from all of the different legendary armors for your kid, and that is just amazing. It makes him so much better in combat, so... 100% I would recommend making this as soon as you can because this will benefit you dramatically at the start of New Game Plus. You can make this the second you first meet Brock and that is just epic. So 100% I say definitely make this as soon as you can. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the talismans because there are a couple new talismans and this one in particular is just amazing. Because you can make this really early on. I'm not sure if you can make it right away. I want to say you probably can make it the moment you actually meet Brock. But I don't know if I did or not. So I'm not exactly sure when you can make it. But the second you can make it, you should make it. Because this thing is epic. Especially if you like to use runic attacks a lot. Because runic attacks are OP. This thing is incredible. Because whenever you activate it. It will refill all of your runic attacks immediately. Immediately. So, because when you start New Game Plus, what's really cool is that you don't have to wait to get the Blades of Chaos. So, you'll have the Blades of Chaos immediately. So, that means you'll have four runic attacks that you can use for the different mobs or the different bosses. And with this, you can pop it, and then now you have eight runic attacks you can use. If you go through eight runic attacks on a mob of enemies, or on a boss, for the most part, you'll be killing that boss even on God of War difficulty. Because when I did my playthrough of New Game Plus, I actually played it on God of War difficulty, and it was so much easier on New Game Plus than it was on New Game. That's for sure, just because you start with some decent gear, and you have all of your runic attacks, and you can use this to help you with that. So this thing is epic. It also has a passive effect that will increase your runic whenever a runic attack is on cooldown. And that will happen almost all the time. So it's a very useful thing to get. You can craft it 100% recommend getting this talisman and using it. Now there's another talisman that I know is new, but I don't think it's as good, which is this one right here. This one will give you a rage burst. And it also has a passive effect that will increase the amount of rage gained from combat as well as the duration of Spartan Rage. So this has potential. Once again, if you really like Spartan Rage, you can use the Ares armor, use this. This can probably counteract the Ares armor somewhat because of the duration bonus. But I can see you making a very powerful rage build and this would be probably very important for that. But because I'm not a big fan of rage, I did not actually see the benefit of it one of the cool things though is that if you do upgrade your talismans it doesn't matter which talisman you upgrade any of the talismans you can now get three enhancement slots 
that's awesome because I always thought that was a bummer. A new game that I think there was only one talisman that could get three enhancement slots. So that was the talisman I always used just because I want as many enhancement slots as possible. I wish they would have made it so that the armor could actually have four enhancement slots. That's something they didn't do, and I'm kind of bummed out about it because I want more stats. I want as much stats as I can get, and I have some really awesome enhancements that I could use, but unfortunately, I can't use them because I just don't have room for them. Now, the next thing I want to show off is some of the different axe punnels and the blade punnels that you can get on New Game Plus because you can get some of these. Now, for the blade pummels, there's really not that many good choices, but that's always been a problem with the blade pummels. But here are all the different ones you can get. You can look at them yourself. I think that the two best ones, though, is probably the Grips of the Valkyrie and also the Grips of the Forgotten Flame. I think that both of these are very good. I can actually use this to get over 200 Vitality, but I have to give up some Runic, so... I don't know. My build's kind of all about using runic attacks, so I don't really want to give up runic all that much. And that's kind of my problem. But I do think that these are the two best blade pummels that you could use. And then you have a couple other ones that you can also get. And these are also pretty decent, I guess. But overall, I think that these two are the best. But for the axe pummels, you have a ton of choices. There is a lot of these in the game. But the one that I would probably recommend is actually the Versatile Warrior Handle. Just because you get just insane stats from this on New Game Plus. It's insane. 22 to every stat. That's amazing. So if you want to have really high stats, this is the Axe Punnel for you. That's the one that I've used pretty much all the time. And the thing is, is that I've been using this from really early on on new game plus so you can get this really early and the second you get it you can upgrade it and then you get like all these stats and that's just epic but there are some other really good ones of course that you can use a lot of these in fact all of these are older ones but they're just upgraded from before but i just personally like the versatile warrior handle the best but here are all of the other axe punnels that you can actually get on new game plus so I'm going to quickly show all of them off, and then we're going to move on. All right, so the next thing I want to show off is just a couple armors and the stats on them. The main thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Valkyrie armor. You can see this is fully upgraded. It's kind of unfair to compare this to the different armors that aren't upgraded, but once you fully upgrade your Valkyrie armor, here are the stats if you want to see. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, the stats are just insane, especially compared to the new game armor. Like, it's just so much better. But also, I really like this chest piece as well. Because, once again, my build is a runic attack build. And because of that, I really do like this chest piece. Because whenever you actually use a runic attack, you have a chance of getting a protective barrier, which lasts for about three seconds and it prevents all damage from enemy attacks. That's actually really nice, especially during the Valkyrie fights, just because if you're spamming a lot of runic attacks, if the Valkyrie does hit you when you're doing it, it doesn't actually matter. You're not going to take any damage from that. So that's really cool, and I definitely would say that this is an awesome armor to get. And I've been experimenting with it, going back and forth, switching up my build. So that is something, but here are the gauntlets, and I've already talked about the other gauntlets that I have, and those are the stats, and here is the waist, and here are the stats, and the rest of it, I guess I'll quickly go over all of the different talismans and let you just look at them, and if you want to pause to read what they do, you can, but none of these are new for the most part, so if you played New Game, you probably already know what all this does. So I'm not going to really take the time. I'm really just showing off the stats. And that's pretty much the same for all the rest of the armor. I'm going to quickly show that off as well. I'm not going to let you read what it does because I'm pretty confident that most people who have played the game, they might already know what it does. Or you can just figure that out later. But some of the armor you do want to actually get and make. Although, here's the thing. It can be very expensive so you're gonna have to grind a little bit in fact it's a really good idea to actually come into new game plus with a lot of money built up so that once you actually want to start 
grinding up certain armors and stuff, you can do that. Now, one of the armors I want to talk about just real quick is the Tears Armor. Because the second that you can actually make this, because you have to craft it, but the second that you can actually make this armor, I recommend doing it as soon as you can. Just because this armor will give you insane stat bonuses. It's insane. And you can use this armor for the majority of the game until you can get something better. Like the Valkyrie armor. The Valkyrie armor is better, but this armor is really good. And what's really cool is you can actually turn this armor into an enhancement. Which I'm going to talk about in a moment on how you can change certain armor sets into enhancements. And you can change certain talismans into enhancements, which is just amazing. So because you can do that with this armor, there's no real reason not to make this, not to upgrade it, and then not to wear it. So you can wear this to help you throughout your playthrough, and then once you get something better, you can then turn the armor into an enhancement. But you have to fully upgrade the armor to do that, and it's very expensive. It's going to cost you a ton of hack silver to actually do that so keep that in mind like i said if you can come into new game plus having a ton of money that is kind of a good thing just because and the other armor sets that you might want to consider crafting and then also upgrading if you have the money to do so is the traveler armor the ancients armor and i believe that's it it's that those are the three armors these are the three right here the tears the ancients and the traveler because you can turn that armor into enhancements which will greatly benefit your build so let's go ahead and now start talking about the different enhancements because the enhancements are absolutely insane you of course can keep some of the older enhancements so any of the really good ones that you've gotten from before you can go ahead and use those but the main ones I want to talk about is the new ones. Now the first one here, this is the perfect mark of the Traveler. So to get this enhancement, you're going to have to fully upgrade the Traveler's armor, the entire set. And then you can trade the entire set for this one enhancement. But what's really cool about this is that you can actually get the perk from the armor set, which is to slowly regenerate a protective barrier that will absorb one attack. This is incredibly useful. This is amazing. Also, the stats that you get from this is not bad at all. Vitality, strength, defense, that's all good. Next up, let's talk about what I have on the gauntlets. Now, the first enhancement that I have here is the perfect mark of Kvasser. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm probably not. But it comes from fully upgrading the amulet of the same name. And then you can transform the amulet into an enhancement. Now, the effect is awesome. Whenever you have a last second dodge, it will activate a rift shift, and any enemy that will walk into that shift or is in that shift will be slowed. That is awesome. It's extremely useful, and the fact that you can turn this into an enhancement and have it all the time, that's amazing. The stats that you get from this is not that bad. You get defense, you get vitality, that's cool. The next one, this is one I'm pretty confident that you just find throughout your journey which is going to be the Tears Shard Plus, which is just going to give you a nice bonus to every single stat and 15 luck, which is just epic. Next up is the Heart of the Valkyrie Plus. This comes from fighting the Valkyries, I'm pretty sure. And with this one, you get some really nice bonuses, but you also can get, of course, the very low perk activation chance of any successful weapon hit to give you the protection of the Valkyrie, and it's just good. You can read the rest, but it is very, very good. But the main thing is just the stats. Like, the stats are just nice. Next up, let's talk about what I have on my belt. This is amazing. This is the perfect mark of protection. Now, it's very, very easy to argue that the best two amulets, especially early on in the game, for new game, is the amulet of protection and the Amulet of Kavar Star. Whatever. <laughs> like the one I can't pronounce. But both of those are very good. One is for dodging, and one is for parrying slash blocking. But for both of them, they were very nice to allow us to fully upgrade the Amulet of Protection, and then transform that into this enhancement. 
Now, the big thing with this enhancement is that it is amazing for allowing you to parry enemies. It makes parrying enemies so much easier if you have this. So 100%, I say you want to get this enhancement. And even if it messes up your build a little bit, and you don't really like the stats that much, it does not matter because this is just incredibly useful. And the main thing, of course, is just that ability to parry so much easier. It is great. But it also allows you to press L1. It's strange that on the enhancement that it actually has that, but if you press L1, that allows you to recover faster, and also it increases your defense when you are blocking. Next up, this is just one from New Game. And it's actually the heart of a Valkyrie. Here is the new game version of it. Now let's talk about the perfect mark of the Ancients. This is incredible as well. This comes from the Ancients armor. So you have to fully upgrade the Ancients armor, the entire set, and then you can trade it for this enhancement. This gives you 85% resistance against frost, burn, and poison attacks. That is incredible. It also gives you some really nice stats. 20 Strength, 10 Runic, 10 Vitality. That is amazing. Now let's talk about what I have for my amulet. Now this comes from the Tears Armor. So this is why I say you should actually use the Tears Armor because it gives you some really nice stats. And you should fully upgrade the Tears Armor. Because once you get some different armor that you like or something better like the Valkyrie Armor... You can then transform the Tears armor into this enhancement. This will basically just be another Tears shard that you can put into your armor. Because it's going to give you the same stats, a bonus to every stat, 15 luck. But also you get the low perk activation chance to give you a short boost to strength, defense, or runic when damage is taken. Not the greatest thing in the world, but the main thing is just getting those stats. But this is just epic, so I definitely recommend doing that. Next up is another one that I'm probably going to massacre the name, but it's Alvaldi's Corrupted Mine. This gives you some really nice stats, but the main thing is that nearby enemies within 15 meters are weakened. So that is awesome. And finally, we have Invari's Soul, which is really nice, especially for a runic attack build. This is going to give you runic. Vitality, cooldown, but very high perk activation chance to get a health burst on any successful runic attack kill. So this is extremely useful. And the final thing I'm going to do is quickly just show off some of the new enhancements that you can also get that I don't currently have on my armor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to scroll through it, let you guys read it if you like. Some of these don't really count because these are ones that I crafted, but here are the rest of them. But overall, New Game Plus is awesome. If you love God of War, which so many people absolutely love this game because it is a great game, I 100% say that you should actually come back, do New Game Plus, and have some fun with it because getting all this new stuff is awesome and making like your build way more powerful is just amazing. I absolutely enjoyed the hell out of playing New Game Plus, and I kind of got really lucky because I recently just got this game, and right after I got done with my first playthrough, New Game Plus came out, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I didn't expect that to happen, but I was really excited when I seen that it did because I was like, talk about perfect timing. But anyway, here are some of the best things that you can get from New Game Plus. I'm pretty sure I showed off almost everything. I might have missed a couple things, so I apologize for that, but... Really, I just want to show off some of the really cool new things that you can get on New Game Plus and God of War. Alrighty, guys. Well, I really hope that this video has helped and that you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.